thought you were just holding it up like, wow, this is not big, this is like, wait, there's a, there's a wind. A lot of people are talking about Julia Buencamino's suicide. You can read the link about the the news right here. Have you seen the alleged suicide note? Yeah, um, it was posted on Tumblr, and um, the note talks about uh, mostly it was a letter hmm. directed towards her family and friends, yeah. saying you know, how much she loved them and she cared for them and so on, telling them that. Um, it's not their fault yeah she's committing suicide and so on so it's it's really mostly just a goodbye letter yeah yeah she didn't even uh leave reasons for why she she did it but people are speculating about the the possible reasons uh, there were parts that maybe implied uh, depression um, there was also that part about the stress of living in a uh, homophobic, homophobic a queer phobic yeah. uh country because um the the letter alleges that she is uh, trans, queer, but she's not comfortable with being a girl. She never was. And she even had a, a, a name, a yeah. queer name, a Lee it yeah. was. But yeah, again, we don't know if this letter was actually written by her. Um, there are a lot of things that we do not know. And one of the worst things that we could do or that anyone could do is to speculate. And a lot of people are speculating and that's mostly what we're going to talk about right now because um, when these things happen so many experts on suicide and depression suddenly pop up on social media so what are the people saying what are the the common reactions to what happened some people are you mean the misconceptions about her yeah what are people saying about her taking her own life uh yeah some people are saying that it's because of her godlessness or it's because did it did, it, did they say that she was godless um some people are saying oh, that okay. she is, but I, I don't know any truth to it. Yeah. Um, some people are saying that it's her fascination with gory artwork. Yeah, like the, the recent post on Instagram, particularly the one where she had a, like she was cosplaying, she was cosplaying. Yeah. someone with a throat slit. Yeah, and with a, yeah. her. I think I read something yeah. on, uh, on the Philippine Star. It was a column saying that um, the signs were there. Uh, for her depression and suicide and one of them was the artwork that she posted on on instagram so there's that yeah but there's also other people posting about um how it's not really an indication of depression because yes. it's cosplaying yeah there is yeah. an actual character out there that had mm. that look okay and um well for me uh, wanting to draw gory artwork does not mean depression okay it's a it's a style I think the, uh, what you've mentioned so far are on the innocent side, on the uh, mostly um, relatively harmless reactions to what she did. Because there are really some horrible ones. Um, for example, it's her fault. It's her family's fault. Like, like you already mentioned, it's her godlessness. It's her not doing uh, what people could easily do to get over their depression. And we're, we're gonna talk about that a bit. Some of the misconceptions. So what, I, I don't know, what have they been saying? So they've been saying that, you know, if you're, if you're depressed, just snap out of it. You know, it's uh, just cheer yourself up. You, people are assuming that she's well off. She's an actress. She had prominent parents who could buy her the things that she needed. Like, what is she complaining about? You know, like, people have this misconception that Depression can only happen to those who are uh, who's helpless. helpless, right? So that's a, I think that's the number one thing that we, like, right off the bat, depression can happen to anyone, right? And, yeah. um, and uh, there's this, there's the duality comes out how people perceive mental illness as different from um, like any other illness. Yeah, physical, physical yeah, illness. Yeah. yeah, so like you wouldn't tell someone with a cough to just like snap out get of over your cough, yeah. get yeah. over your cough, yeah. or get over your cancer. Get over. It's 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 like you're saying that, yeah, because it's not something that's in their control. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this, so you can just will yourself back to mental health. Yeah, but I I, I don't understand. The brain is physical, mm -hmm. right? And um, depression, of course, uh, it's uh, it's in the brain. It originates mm -hmm. everything um, originates in the brain and. One of the first things that people do 
when they suspect that they have uh, depression is to get themselves uh, checked up mm -hmm. physically yeah. because uh, depression can be one of the symptoms related to something else yeah. you know if something happens to you physically it could have uh, effects on your on your mental health as Definitely. well and when everything else is ruled out then you you can check with a with a qualified um, psychiatrist a, a qualified professional um, to do the diagnostic because and that's uh, point number two I think um, not everyone not just anyone can diagnose depression you know um, none of us here for sure uh, but none of the people on Facebook like uh, can do it so easily so if you think that you or any of your friends have depression don't um, one of the things you can do for them is to to not be that person you know you can come to me and I will give you everything no uh, you can suggest that they go to qualified professionals for this and let them do the diagnostics but it's also good to give support it's also good to give support but don't be the be all end all yes. of don't, the person yeah not not like to self medicate or self diagnose yeah. that's a pretty Definitely. dangerous yeah thing. yeah like if if you're trying to treat yourself when you don't have the medical expertise required yeah and uh, yeah I, I think what's also interesting from this issue is that it shows some hindsight um, bias yeah like how people Oh, they they see the suicide and yeah. they see these things that are part of her her life. And they yeah. think Before it's so the suicide, obvious. It's so obvious. Yeah. Well, hindsight, hindsight is twenty yeah, twenty. Exactly. Yeah. So like, you wouldn't have. I'm pretty sure, like a lot of these people would not have been able to tell. And the things that they say, which would be telling according to them, are not really uh, like Tin said. They're not indicators. For example, the cosplay, or if yeah. there's any, if there's any type of normal art. people do that. Yeah. And it happens. Yeah. Often yeah, to a lot yeah. of people, and not all of them are depressed or suicidal. Yeah, I okay. think I myself have been sent to a psychiatrist because I I had weird drawings in my textbook. How so young were you when, when I was this in happened? grade seven? Like <laughs> there were weird. I was vandalizing my textbooks, and then my parents saw it. <laughs> oh, like, oh my god, my kids. Okay. Got problems. Yeah, and I think a lot of parents would at least they brought you to a professional. Well, that's true. That's true. Would make assumptions about, let's say, the the child uh, or a, the teenager or whoever loses belief in God, and you might be depressed or something like that, mm -hmm. or you're gender queer, or you think you're transgender. Oh, you must be depressed. Let's send you to a physician. There are all of these misconceptions, of course, uh, but first. What is depression anyway? Because a lot of people, they casually mention uh, at the slightest inconvenience. Oh, I'm so depressed. Oh, I'm so depressed. You know, this, um, my, my, I'm having a bad hair day. I'm so depressed. Mm -hmm. So it's things like this that, that happen that, you know, show us we should be more sensitive with the way we use our language because um, um, doing stuff like this trivializes um, depression, you know, uh, it's it's a uh, like you mentioned an mm -hmm. illness. Okay, so people have reacted in positive ways as well, like saying that depression is not someone's fault or not solely someone's fault. There are so many factors involved. But sometimes they go too far in one direction. They say stuff like depression cannot be cured. But the thing is, so uh, the good news is it can be cured. Uh, it can be treated. treated you know, yeah. it cannot be. It's not like. Uh, like you take a pill for it and then you're not depressed anymore. It's more complicated than that. Uh, let's talk about the treatment, right? Like I already mentioned, it starts with a uh, diagnosis by a qualified professional. Now, um, what happens during the, uh, what, what kinds of treatment are prescribed? Okay, um, none of us are professionals here, <laughs> yeah. but it's usually, it's either you're given medicine for it, medication, yeah. and um, psychotherapy, but there's also psychotherapy. Yeah, but it's commonly a combination of the two, yeah. right? Um, there's, when, it, when, when we talk about medication, a lot of people are averse to getting medication because they think it reflects on them poorly. Yeah. Like, oh, you need medication, therefore you're weak. I'm strong because I don't need it. Yeah. There's, this, you know, that, there's, there's, there's that stigma. stigma. Yeah. yeah, there's that stigma when it comes to medication. So it, it might also contribute to the reason why a mental illness is one of the most untreated mm. um, sicknesses mm. because people are afraid of being diagnosed and having to get medication because they think it would reflect poorly on them. 
because again, a lot of people trivialize uh, depression uh, and similar uh, issues like this. So I yeah, I want to go back to the uh, <clears throat> issue with, for example, people saying that oh, this person is depressed because yeah. X is uh, trans or queer yeah. or like godless and so yeah. on, but. Sometimes they're missing, the, they're mistaking the cause for the effect. Sometimes because um, it could also be the case that pe- they are depressed because people are judging them. That too, because of what they are. That too, the certain behaviors that they have. That too, there are so many stressors. Yes, yeah, exactly. uh, and certainly, uh, I think I, I read the statistic. I don't know if this is still true that women are depressed twice as much as men are. I, mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not, I don't even remember, so, mm-hmm. uh, you know, we, we could fact check what I said. Mm-hmm. But uh, women, according to my, my bad memory, <laughs> says that uh, are, get depressed more. And people uh, who are part of minorities, experience minority stressors. And if uh, Julia was indeed uh, genderqueer and- A woman. She is definitely, you know, yeah. born born a woman. Uh, then all of these stressors, yeah. plus uh, you know all of the pressures of modern day society. You know, like um, forty years ago, life wasn't as hectic. I think that's the word. You know, mm-hmm. constantly and, online. And she was at, in showbiz, yeah. right? And show business. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, pretty brutal, pretty stressful as well. So all of these things um, could contribute. To depression, but I don't think it's so easy to point the finger at just one factor. Yes, it's more, it's not that simple. It's more complex than that. And, uh, you know, only Julia knows really what, what stresses her out. And she didn't mention it in her, in the alleged uh, mm. suicide note. So what causes depression? Uh, we already mentioned all of these stressors. It's also genetic. Like, I, as we mentioned earlier, uh, everything that a human being does originates with the brain. So if there's something, yeah. That's, uh, you know, if you get brain damage, that could contribute to it. If you have a genetic condition, you, it's something that you can get from your parents as well. And it's something that can be influenced by hormones. Uh, probably why women uh, get depressed more, according to my bad memory. It's also possible that, like, you, you could have a latent, uh, what's this, predisposition. Predisposition, For, for yeah. certain types of... Uh, depression, which is genetic, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah genetic, yeah. and these could be triggered by, for example, environmental factors. Yeah, that's uh, an important point that yeah. that you made. Not because yeah, the yeah. brain is like it's not a fixed thing. Yeah. What what you do with your body and what your environment is like affects how your brain yeah. works. So if, for example, you're eating healthily and you're um, getting regular exercise, yeah, more often than not, it would lead to a better mental state than if you were not. Even if you had the predisposition towards it. Um, yeah. It doesn't necessarily mean that you will get it. Yes. Uh, it's uh, the environment. Genetics is also uh, an, an influence. Mm-hmm. And so, so there, everyone could get it. Yeah. You know, not just... Uh, but certainly, uh, there are factors that tend to contribute to it. So being part of minorities, uh, poverty, um, health, you know, all of these things. But the, the, the important thing, I think, to remember is the, the judgment never really helps. Not true. You know, I think it's, uh, it's more important to be proactive mm-hmm. about these things and not judgmental. Mm-hmm. Because if you start pointing fingers, that usually does nothing. It helps no one. It right? doesn't, doesn't do nothing. It, it's mean, negative. It's yeah, bad. it's actually yeah. negative. That's yeah. true. That's true. It's counterproductive. Yeah. It's counterproductive. And uh, again, uh, People who are hearing this, you, you know, you're excited with all of this information and maybe you, you want to be the know-it-alls to your friends. Uh, a warning against doing that. Again, uh, advise your friends, you know, you're always there to support them um, however they want. Just be there for them. Just being there is often one of the, the hugest things that you can do for someone. Uh, give them advice if they ask for it. You know, there's, of course, no formula to do this, but certainly in all cases, the help of a qualified professional is the best thing that, that someone could get, yeah. right? Definitely. We're going to interview. Yes. Oh, we're doing yes. a podcast with Dr. Uh, we're doing a, th- yeah, this is a very complicated issue. Not one episode can, uh, can address 
it and we're not qualified to do so as well. So one of the professionals that knows uh, infinitely more than we do is uh, Dr. Margarita Holmes and we will talk to her on our follow-up podcast on this issue. Thank you so much for watching this episode. As I mentioned, um, we will be doing a podcast on this pretty soon. Uh, do like, share, and subscribe. And if you have friends who you think could be depressed, or if you yourself are depressed, again, do uh, seek the help of a qualified professional. If you're thinking, yeah. There are hotlines. Yes, that's what I was going to mention. Yes. There's, there are suicide hotlines as well that, uh, that you can uh, call. Uh, there are websites as well. Too? Yeah, and this is a, a very complex issue, but uh, no judgments and just be there for, for people. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.